it is a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. Congratulations, four years in the making so far. Uh, what was one of the highlights so far for you in terms of like coming to the point where you're like, wow, we're, we're getting this together? Well, first of all, every day just walking into Disney Animation Studios is a highlight for me. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever the day seems like it's gonna be at the beginning of the day, it ends up being something different. It is such a creative place to work, uh, so I feel fortunate uh, there. Uh, in terms of Frozen, um, you know, these movies, uh, there's, they're, they're always good elements, but how to pull it all together to make it feel like one, one movie, uh, that happens fairly late in the process, that's mm. natural. Right. Uh, but when it does, uh, you get very excited. When the story starts to tell you what it really needs to be and now you're following it, mm. uh, that's an exciting phase to be in. What was the initial spark that said, we gotta make this film? Because I know sequels are very rare. They are very for rare. You, what was interesting especially. for us is, you know, the first movie we felt we had sort of wrapped up. Uh, all the answers were neatly wrapped up by the end. Uh, but about a year later, we did the short, and we realized that we we actually missed these characters. And uh, it started us thinking about, you know, so what are they like now that, you know, they're all happy back in Arendelle. You know, life doesn't always work out like a fairy tale. What other things uh, mm -hmm. uh, may challenge them, either from their own past that may come back, or what are the things that they have to face in the future? And all of those th um, really led us to the realization that there's a lot more story to tell. And it's really wonderful. We've, we've seen a little bit today of what it looks like, seeing the sisterly connection now as it's grown. Yes. Uh, you know, how much of that do we get to see in this film? I'm you see a lot of it in this film. The first film, as you know, Anna and Elsa spent quite a bit of time apart. Mm -hmm. This film, you actually get to see that dynamic uh, uh, working together in support of each other, uh, and it's exciting. And, and most of the time, it's supportive sometimes at odds, and that's, that's human mm -hmm. uh, nature as well. How do you make a film that is bigger than Frozen? Because that film was, was I mean, I'm not talking about success. I mean, I'm sure. even just thinking story-wise, it was so climactic. Yes. So w what did you think about when you're making that? Well, uh, in all honesty, we asked ourselves, what's the film we want to see? What would excite us? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and working with Chris Buck and Jennifer Lee as the directors of the story, and then bringing in the same songwriting team, you know, Kristen Anderson Lopez, Bobby Lopez, and the whole focus was, how do we how do we make this feel like a, an epic journey? Not just another story, but right. a journey in and of itself, and I think we've succeeded in that. And I feel, too, like there hasn't been a lot of films over the years that have felt quite so... Uh, almost like old-fashioned storytelling that feels like you're going on a journey. Mm -hmm. uh, the did you reference old material for stuff like that, or was that? We didn't. Just I mean, there's a, there's a lot of legacy we're dealing with at Disney Animation. We're certainly pulling on, on that. And we did for the first film too. You know, it it was a classic fairy tale. Although we put our own twists on it, we right. flipped some of the tropes. But essentially, um, you know, we love the, the the medium that we tell these stories in, and and that excites us. Your research trip, you were showing footage from that earlier today, uh, it looks, seeing the footage from the, what you've done so far and seeing that together, it's remarkable what you have recreated. We definitely get inspired by the trips, by the environment, uh, every down to every last detail, it's fun for us. Again, we're not really trying to create a realistic world, but definitely a believable one, so those details help. And uh, it's, it's a bonding moment for the whole team when we do this. And, uh, I think it reflects uh, on the work up on the screen. That's amazing. Well, lastly, I'd love to know is in terms of the songs, I know you've said there are seven. Uh, do you have a favorite so far? Anything you can hint at? I, I have several favorite songs. <laughs> and it, asking me which All one seven. is my favorite <laughs> is like a, asking which child do I like better. Um, uh, I, I love them all. They're all very different from one another. And I think Bobby and Kristen have outdone themselves this time. Can't wait to hear it and can't wait to see it. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.